In terms of exams, I tend to favor questions that are a little bit more conceptual in nature and allow for explanations of reasoning. And because sometimes they're pretty challenging, I think I have a reputation for having relatively challenging exams, I really worked extremely hard to make sure that um, that exam can be completed in the period and typically with at least 10 to 15 minutes to spare because I don't want people you know, saying, hey, I ran out of time. I recognize a few folks will, but I want most of the class to have had a lot of time to check over their responses. And I, I found that that really helps because I don't wanna be grading people on how quickly they can do physics, especially when it's really challenging questions. And I want them to write explanations of reasoning, which I feel are super important because you can give a lot of partial credit, et cetera. And also similarly with quantitative problems, I really wanna make sure they have time to write out their work in a manner that I can follow. Uh, but the other thing is that if you do find, and this is at least what I do, uh, if, if I find students struggled with an exam, I like giving students an opportunity uh, to earn up to half of the lost points back by doing exam corrections. Obviously this was probably not feasible in a large enrollment course, but definitely for upper division courses, I've found this is really helpful because students put a lot of effort into doing the corrections. So obviously I don't post solutions right after the exam because I want students to you know, be able to work through that. I'm happy if they talk to me, et cetera. But I just find that in general, it seems like they learn a lot from doing those corrections, especially the upper division students. And it seemed very valuable. Um, and so I would just highly recommend that. It also helps because you can ultimately then be adjusting scores upward, but yet it can help everybody.